Hey guys, to all the mothers watching today, happy Mother's Day. And a special shout out to my own mom. Mom, thank you so much for everything. I love you so much. I'm sad that we couldn't be together today as originally planned, but we can be all the more excited for next time. Mother's Day and I think birthdays too should really be called miracle days. If you think about it, life itself is truly a miracle. There's no other word to describe it. This past week, the last book that I had to read for school was called Creation, Remarkable Evidence of God's Design by Grant R. Jeffrey. In it, he gave example after example of the marvels of creation, from honeybees with their precise honeycomb construction and their incredible communication techniques, to the human body. It's hard to even wrap our mind about all that is going on in our bodies each second. We are a complex system of complex systems. Did you know that one of the most complex organs ever is the human eye. Sometimes it's one of those organs that we take for granted, but when I read how the eye functions and how it is formed, I was in awe. I'll read you a quote from Jeffrey's book just to make sure I don't botch this up. When a baby is conceived in its mother's womb, the genetic DNA code governing the eye programs the baby's body to begin growing optic nerves simultaneously from both the optic center of the brain and from the eye. A million microscopic optic nerves begin growing from the eye through the flesh toward the optical section of the baby's brain. Simultaneously, a million optic nerves with a protective sheath similar to a fiber optic optic cable begin growing through the flesh towards the baby's eye. Each of these one million optic nerves must find and match up to its precise mate to enable vision to function properly. So guys, only when the one million optic nerves find their precise pair among a million is sight possible. And yet each day, millions of babies are born with the miracle of sight. And guys, this is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of, of the complexity of your eye, not to mention the rest of your body. It blows my mind how anyone can look around at creation and say that it must have happened by chance, a random succession of mutations. This type of precision doesn't come from randomness. To take an often used analogy, if you saw a watch laying somewhere, would you automatically assume that it just came together by accident? Or would you conclude that it was intentionally made and designed by someone? I think any of us would be crazy to think that it just happened with no direction whatsoever. And yet, many people look at the human body, which is infinitely more complex than a watch or anything ever created by humans, and say that we're just here by chance. For me, I have to conclude that there is a designer, a creator. As humans, we are often in awe of the creators of incredible technology. But all of the inventions of humans are nothing in comparison with the wonders of the universe, from the grass to the stars. And all I can say is, wow. Whoever created this is truly incredible. And that word doesn't even begin to describe his greatness. But what is even cooler is that 
this amazing creator and designer who transcends time and space chose to make himself known to us. In the vastness of the universe, we are so small. But this God created us, not just because, but for the express purpose of us knowing him and being known by him. And this creator entered into his creation as a man so that one, we could know him, but also to rescue his creation that had rejected its creator. And as his creation, we have a wonderful purpose to honor our creator by loving him. So if you've ever asked yourself, why am I here? My answer to you today is that you were created on purpose by an incredible designer. He loves you and wants to be with you forever. And guys, loving and knowing him is the best decision you will ever make because truly, it is what we were created for. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. This next song that I want to share with you is one of my favorites. It's called So Will I. And it talks about how God created the world and how his creation obeys him. When he spoke, light came to be and creation still listens to his voice. And so this song is saying, you know, if creation is still obeying you, then so will I. And that is my prayer for all of us today, that as we marvel at creation, that we would be so in awe of its maker, that we too would say to God, how can I do anything but follow you. God of creation, there at the start before the beginning of out the wonder of light and as you speak a hundred billion galaxies are born in the vapor of your breath the planets form if the stars are made to Worship so I can see your heart and everything you've made. Every burning star, a signal fire of grace. If creation stings your praises so light. Spoken, nature and science follow the 
Chose 